AI is making everything easier for us, and video editing is no exception. PowerDirector is packed full of AI tools that make editing simpler and can get things done lickety split. So today, I'm going to share five AI tools that make video editing easier in PowerDirector 365. Let's get intelligent. We'll start off with the AI background removal tool. This allows you to change the original background of your video with something else. If you have a reverse timeline like I do, the background footage will need to be on track one and the foreground footage will need to be on a track beneath it. You want to left click on the foreground footage, go to edit. You want to make sure that you're on the video tab and beneath that you want to go to the background tab. You want to make sure that background remover is selected and you want to make sure that the AI background remover checkbox is checked. Once you do, you'll see in your preview window that your background has now been changed and your foreground is good to go. This should keep your head above water when it comes to making those editing deadlines. The next tool is AI speech to text. This takes spoken word and turns it into text for your videos. You want to go up to subtitles and you want to select AI speech to text. We're going to leave the audio source as all audio tracks and we're going to leave the language as English. And then we're going to click on create. You can adjust the duration, placement, and text if you want to make things your own. Are you looking to create engaging videos that grab your viewers' attention without using your own voice? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now, we'll get into AI image to video. This allows you to create a video from an image. You want to make sure that you're on your media tab. And you want to go down to video generator and left click on that. And then you want to left click on image to video. For this example, we're going to select love, love it of it. And we'll select warm hug. We're going to keep it on the one duo photo, which means you have one photo with two people in it. And we're going to left click on add a photo of two people. It gives us some recommendations here on your image and how it should look for you to get the best results. I'm going to left click on OK. I'm going to select this image here and I'm going to left click on open. And now you get to crop your image. You can move it where you want. Type in the parameters, move the arrows around. I'm just going to type in where I want it to be. And now we'll left click on OK. And you want to ch choose your mode. I'm going to choose professional. We'll leave the duration on five seconds and the aspect ratio on 16 by nine. And then you want to left click on generate. You get a message telling you that it's going to create your uh, AI image for you or your AI video. Just left click on got it. And then you can close this out. Once it's done, you can go up to my gen AI creations and click on view. And that show look real to me. You can add it to your timeline. You can download it, do whatever you need to do. Oh, 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 with magic AI. I've got two more tools to share with you, but before we break them on down, I need you to click the like button, subscribe to Power Director University, and click the bell so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials and live streams. Now it's time for some AI text to video. This lets you make a video from text. So you wanna make sure that you're on the media tab. You wanna to go to the video generator 
And this time you want to select text to video. So you can type in whatever text that you want to do. I'm going to see what happens when I use the same exact text that they use in a different tutorial. And once you're done typing in your text, you can go ahead and select the duration of the video that you want and the aspect ratio. And you can pick to generate with sound or without. I'm going to do without sound. And then you want to left click on generate. And like it says here, they're going to process the video and you can find it here when they're done. Once it's done, you can go and left click on my gen AI creations. You can see the image to video that I created earlier, but here's the text to video that I just created. So we're going to left click on view. Once again, you can add this to your timeline, download it, do what you like. Next, we have the AI anime video effect. This creates anime style videos from your original video. You want to go up to Gen AI, and then you want to go to AI anime video effect. For this, we're going to select cartoon, and we're going to select start now. We're going to leave it as a 10 second video, and we're going to left click on continue. Then you have the recommendations for best results. We're going to left click on import video. And we're going to select a video and left click on open. And now we're going to left click on generate. You're going to left click on got it. And it says it's got about 16 minutes left. So we'll get right back at you. And once it's done, you can click on view. And you can click on play. As you already know, you can add it to your library. You can export it, all that good stuff. If you want to learn how to create brand kits for your videos, check out this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and purchase power director using the links in the video description to help the channel stay alive.